Stop the cap. All right, the clip that you're about to see is a perfect example of what I just talked about in my last video about the oversharing that black women engage in online. See, it's not just stereotypes that black men are going off of when they talk about um, their <clears throat> adjustment to black women and they talk about um, walking away from black women. Okay, this woman is talking about her husband that took her in, took her on, and she's got three children by whoever else that she was dealing with. I don't know if it's multiple men or just one man. But she's up there on a podcast talking about, you know, a man who took in her three children. You know, this is the man that stepped up to the plate. You know, this is the man that black women will come online and say, this is a real man. Like when they make their silly, stupid post trying to shame and convince men into raising another man's seed. And she sees him, you know, as a simp. This is a man that's taking on the responsibility. This is the man that has, you know, the bag. But because he probably doesn't have the game or maybe he doesn't have the looks, but he has the money. She goes in and takes full advantage of it. And then instead of being smart about it and just being silent and saying, hey, I lucked out, she proceeds to go on a podcast and then talk shit about the brother for the whole world to see. We really feeling you. It's the ones we don't like. We make them do it all. So you ain't like your husband. <laughs> I ain't trying to embarrass my husband even more on the Internet, but... He was a simp, and I seen the opportunity, and I took it. Well, I'm saying what, what 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 his qualities was. I mean, for one, he accepted the fact that I have three kids. So you got three kids too. I have three children. And a nigga supposed to come with the bag. They supposed to come. And that's that's why you have to have a bag. Yeah. Like you got to take care so of me I'm and saying, my kids. So, so, like you automatically get these responsibilities. Yes. Stop playing. I'm not playing. And how many niggas doing this? Between two or three. I'm saying, how many have you ran into in life? That's okay, so let's say I run into, let's say I run into 100 dudes. Probably about four of them. Yeah, that about the odds. Mm -hmm, I fuck with that now. Probably about that four about, of them. That about the odds. All right, all right, mm -hmm, all right. I ain't even going to lie. Yeah, that's a, no yeah, no, so, so that kind of sound like you are delusional. You just catching, it's just a sucker born every day. Basically. Yeah, because you, you know what I'm saying, a nigga that's, so you ain't you never caught no nigga that's worth worth some doing that though. Am I kidding? I probably have one. See, the way this game work is, you have to get with a man who ain't used to dating bad. So then, when you get black men that see this and witness this, and then you know they react or they respond or they talk crazy about black women and this culture. Then y'all come up and start screaming about how it's black women bashing and how they hate their mother and how it's self-hate and how it's an inferiority complex and how it's all this other bullshit. No, you're fucked. You don't know how to keep your mouth shut. It's just that simple. You don't know how to keep your mouth shut. And now, see, the thing is, is once you know, once you see something, you can't unsee it. You can't unsee it. OK, nobody forced her to go up there. And 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 do this. And I mean, it, it basically just shows the lack of respect and the level of contempt that she has for a man that is giving her literally everything that she wants. And this is how you repay him by embarrassing him online. You know, because somebody's got to, you know, see the clip and see her and know who she is and know who she's dealing with. This is how men who, quote unquote, step up to the plate are rewarded. And, and, you know, these stories, you know, this type of situation, this has been shared amongst black men. See, the, the only difference is, is men would say this is what went down or whatever. And but if you weren't in this situation or you weren't in the environment to see it, you wouldn't know it. But see, now we men don't have to, uh, you know, uh, be, you know, in proximity to that situation and know it. Like, I don't know this woman. I don't know where she lives, what state she's in or whatever. But the fact that she put it on the damn Internet now lets everybody know, you know, that this is what's going down. This is what's going on. 
and y'all running around talking about why these niggas out here messing with white girls, why they out here, you know, dating Ming Lee and Maria and dating other races of women. How come they don't go out here and put the black woman on a pedestal or value the black woman, blah, 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 right? And mind you, the vast majority of black men don't have kids. Again, 54% of black men are childless, while 61% of black women are mothers, and they outnumber black men by 2 million. By 2 million. And then when you throw in like the sister that came at me wanted to talk about, you know, whoever's interracially dating because black men interracially date and marry more. I'm like, that reduces the numbers even further to highlight the fact. So not only <laughs> highlight the fact that you all are messing with a minority of men. So not only do you have 2 million more black women than black men, you also have the, the, the black men that are having kids exclusively over the fence. So that takes away from that 46%. Because there's going to be more black men that get taken away from that 46% for interracially dating or marrying or having kids, you know, specifically becoming parents with other races of women than there's going to be black women. Now, you know, other people have, you know, speculated, no, there's black women out here. They got more kids. Y'all evidence on that is lousy. I'm not saying that you're wrong. I'm saying, you know, media men try to say this, you know, BGS tried to say this. I'm like, where are your numbers? Show me where you have information on the kids and who the kids are by and all that other stuff. You don't have that. It's just speculation. You can't take the argument that far. Stop while you're ahead. 61% versus 46%. That's the end of the conversation. That's the end of the conversation, especially with the rhetoric that black men got kids all over the place and we're just, you know, sexually irresponsible. No, that is the black woman. Again, 80% of black women, excuse me, 77% of black women are mothers by age 24 or, or 70, excuse me, 77% of the black women who are going to be ever be mothers are mothers by, you know, um, Mothers by 24 years old. That's 80 percent. 80 percent of the black women who will ever become mothers are mothers by 24 years old. They don't even make it to 30. So so seriously speaking, if you're a black man and it takes you 10 years to get your shit together, like I said in the last video. OK, it takes you 10 years to get your shit together and you're 30, 31 and you just got your career. You, you, you got money now. You, you're making a living and everything else. What do you really have to pick from? In terms of the women that you're going to marry and have kids, right? Because if you're if you're one of those black men that are in the 54 percent, right, that will transition into the 46 percent, right? Because, again, you got to remember people move from one population to the other because everybody starts out. Everybody is born childless. So at some point, people go from being a part of a 100 percent pool to, you know, um, you know, to being in that 54 percent or that 46 percent. Right. The, the, that total number of that 54 or, you know, 54 percent versus the 46 percent with black men. That is that is what you get when, you know, uh, um, you know, at you know, all the way throughout life. You know, that is that is what you get when, um, you know, to, at about age 50, you know. So and you still have you still have 20 um, percent. I think it's like 20 percent for men, because I think it was 81 percent of black men up until the age of 49. You know, uh, that will, you know, ever be fathers have already had their kids. And then you got another 20 percent that are after age 50. See, when you break down the numbers, you really get to see, you know, how dystopian the um, the, the, the parental dynamics are in the black community. You really get to see that. But anyway, I don't want to go off and repeat myself and all the stuff that I was saying. I'm probably going to try to upload this on my iPad. As you can tell, I got to be quiet right now. Um, but I like I saw that clip. You know, what I mean, I was I was eating lunch and I was like, I just saw that clip. Man, that shit just burned me up. And I'm like, this this is a primary example of what I just talked about in my last video. I'm like, I'm like, y'all came to the end the oversharing. The oversharing, it's like when Cam was up there, you know, talking about, you know, him being in the whole house and everything. I'm like, nigga, we didn't need to know that. We, we, we didn't need to know that. It makes you look nasty. It makes you look like a creep. We understand you a street dude, Cam and all that, killer Cam and all that. But like, we didn't need to know that. Like, there's just a point where it's like, you know, you get to a certain age and it's just like, you know, being graphic like that, you know, in a public, it's, it's not cute anymore. At 20-something, it's cute. It's funny. Ha-ha, hee-hee. 
You know what I mean? But but when you, you know, 50 plus, that shit ain't cute no more. You know, hell, when you're in your 40s, that shit ain't cute no more. You know? Um, but, uh, um, nah, th- I mean, th- this, this, you know, this being, you know, showcased the way that it is. I don't know what y'all sisters expect when y'all this, this, the, the the way that black men feel about you. It does not come out of the void. It is not coming out of purely some idea of self-hatred. No, you this is the this is the upside and the downside of the Internet. This is the upside and the downside of the Internet. Oh, let's people connect and communicate and share ideas and everything. But unfortunately, there's certain things that just shouldn't be shared. And it's kind of like. I didn't need to know that. In reality, I'm actually glad, you know, I know that. I'm glad that that black men are able to know these things before they, you know, walk into these situations. You know what I mean? But I mean, this woman's saying this, and then y'all think that y'all gonna come to the internet talking about course correction and talking about a Sierra's prayer after this woman done sat up there and, and talk crazy like she just did? Nah, y'all got another thought coming. Anyway, that's all I got to say. That's my video, SWPL. Don't forget to comment, share, like, and subscribe. Hey, black man on social media, you got to have the toughest skin. 90% of the time when we getting bashed, you got to learn to ignore that shit. And it's not like you have a choice. You just do. Because if not, bro, this shit will have you messed up in the head, like real deal depressed or it's going to have you arguing with children and women all day on social media. And now what do you look like? Because the way we get bashed on here is ridiculous. And especially if like you a good dude who make an honest living, who ain't in the streets or nothing, who ain't out here just getting a whole bunch of women pregnant and not taking care of the kids. You'll see what everybody has to say about us every single day. And you'll be genuinely confused. Like what? We get called broke. The weakest link. We got blamed for Trump winning the election, even though I think it said 80% of us voted for Kamala. <laughs> you would dead ass see people say they hope to police us because we're disagreeing with them in an argument. Look, it's not going to get to me because I don't give a fuck. But I'm just saying these coming from the same people that swear to fix things. You got to speak positivity into it and accept your flaws and embrace your strengths. Just not when it comes to black men. <laughs> my journey like i don't want to be with nobody i'm having a great time with myself mm. i love myself yeah. i do for the first time in my life i could cry i love myself i'm learning to love myself more but i do love myself right now i'm on my journey like i don't want to be with nobody i'm having a great time with myself mm. i love myself yeah. i do for the first time in my life i could cry i love myself i'm learning to love myself more but i do love myself